Hey guys, um, this is kind of an extension of last week's video because surprise, surprise, I completely forgot how to get my phone into this holder. I, I completely forgot it, that it had the little spring thing. You had to push the phone up to get the spring to hold it. And I completely forgot about it because I haven't used the, this holder in... Um, I used it a little bit uh, last year, and then once I got the phone holder that I am currently using, I didn't use it anymore because um, I could just shoot from sitting in my chair. Um, but anyway, so I can actually now shoot um, the wide angle footage um, so um, you can see me and see the chair and I can get away from it. Um, this will also be um, the angle I will be using when I do my dog training videos, which I'll probably put up once a month-ish. That's what I'm looking at right now. So uh, this will be a pretty short video and I will show you the bells and whistles um, uh, about the chair that I couldn't show you uh, in the last video. Okay. Um, I've gotten some stuff uh, adjusted on this chair. I had a few things tweaked literally the day after I got it because I had some problems. Um, and then I had yesterday, I had him come back out and put what are called um, desk length um, armrests on uh, this chair because the full length armrests were like getting in my way. I couldn't, I couldn't carry the... Uh, Bagalini bag that I put my notebooks in and I'm like, I can't do this. I need the shorter armrests so I can actually pull up a little bit. Um, I have a problem uh, with the camera here. This is the camera. Um, and uh, I have a problem with it where it'll stick, it'll stick out weird. Um, when I'm transferring to and from the toilet or something of that nature, um, and it'll just get in my way. It can kind of be pushed over this way, but I usually keep it when I'm not, when I'm using it, I pull it over as far as I can. Um, and I've actually pulled it back a little bit. So it's a little um, closer to me, but I can't push it out of the way like I would my uh, phone holder here. Um, the main thing I wanted to show that I didn't have on my other chair were the power legs, um, which I've been using so I decrease the swelling I've been getting in my feet since my surgery last year. So I'll show you guys that now and hopefully I have enough room um, to do it. This chair goes back, which I usually do it about two thirds of the way back. This might cut my head off a little bit. Um, let me back this up a little bit. Back this up a little bit so you guys can see my legs when I actually put the, and then I have a function on the chair that will lift the legs, which you won't be able to see all of it, but. And I usually use this function um, when I'm watching TV. Uh, like somebody would use a recliner. Um, that's usually how I use it because it can give me pretty much the same angle as a recliner. So um, that's how that works. And the thing that's the hardest is the leg support uh, slides up and down when the legs go up and down. And I've caught my ankle, the edge of my pant leg, in uh, 
that part before, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, bring this back down. So I actually had to get a grant from the wheelchair company so I could get um, the uh, rear facing camera and the um, elevate, which is the seat elevate. And this is the seat elevate. I actually, I only have a few cases in which I will actually use this. I don't use it as much as you think, um, cause I can reach most things when I'm in the chair. So I'm trying not to cut my head off in frame or this video is gonna look really weird, but um, I just, I elevate. I actually don't use this as much as you think, so. Um, the things I mostly use now are for elevation, um, to the recline, and to put my feet up, um, which I will do later, probably while I'm watching the documentary I want to watch later. Oops. So that's how the big bells and whistles on this thing work. Um, and I'm probably a little kitty wolfus here. So, and I have um, what they call lateral supports, and that's mostly because I lean. And the one that gets the big workout is the one on the left side, because that's the side I lean to. So this, these actually fit me way better than my other set of lateral supports they had on another wheelchair I had, I think when I was still in high school. So um, this this works, this setup is like 10 times better. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that because I didn't get it um, fit into the other, uh, the last block. Just one more postscript to what's gonna be this week's vlog. Um, I had just finished shooting that main part, um, and the, um, phone holder, uh, broke. So I, my, my backup plan is to use the clamp base that I got, um, with my other phone holder, um, and put that on my one table and I will use that. Um, just moving my, um, phone holder back and forth between the two clamps, uh, the two bases. Um, cause I, unless I can get that fixed, I'm kind of up a creek. I mean, granted, I'm not going to need it right now. Um, cause I'm obviously not training a dog yet. Um, but that's the main thing that's going to be used for. And so... I was, I'm like, thank you, stupid cheap project product made in China because this thing comes apart all the time. So um, I will um, get that set up probably tomorrow, um, test it to make sure I can get the angle I want. Um, so, and do that. Um, but... I'll do that and this video will go up and um, I will tie this back in to the regular part of the vlog. I have one other thing I forgot I forgot to add with my the other thing I got um, on this chair and um, that is I have headlights. Yes, headlights. Um, and I will show you those. Um, let me get the camera. 
um, you can kind of, if you can see them, kind of, um, so there's one on each side and they're in the back. They're actually right in the back, like a car, um, which if I forget I have them on is kind of distracting, but I really wanted the headlights because um, I have a time, um, I was at a concert outside in the middle of the summer and the venue out in like the amphitheater um, area where everybody would gather um, prior to the concert was once the sun went down, it was like pitch black, could not see a thing. And it was very hard to find my way around. And the nice thing about the headlights is I can actually, I could actually see, it gives me enough light that I can see where I'm going. I'd be able to see the edge of curbs. So, um, which was very important to me, particularly if I'm going to be walking the dog in, in, in the evening, obviously not uh, when the, it's dark, dark, but I may, like, if I'm coming out of church or something, I'll turn those on. So that was the other thing I wanted to, um, put in there. And, um, that's pretty much all for now. This will go up. Um, this will probably go up at the normal time tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to get it shot today since I knew it was going to be pretty short. And since my mother actually said, no, this is how you do this phone holder, which I obviously forgot about. So, um, that's, that's all for now. This is Service Dog Diaries signing off. Thank you.